hello and welcome to cube youtube 247 channel uh today i'm just going to be looking into uh cross browser compatibility test uh using your local server uh instead of you uh using a other platform that you have to pay for um a quick introduction uh my name is ade and then i came up with this idea uh, because uh, I've come across a lot of uh, uh, issue about uh, cross browser compatibility test um, we are almost get most problem uh, is with the uh, with the uh, Internet Explorer and that's why I'm focusing on Internet Explorer today however not only Internet Explorer uh, other web browsers such, such as uh, Firefox, Google Chrome, or Safari they also have their own compatibility issue um, this uh, idea come up because I uh, had an issue with uh, somebody that uh, uh, I designed a website for and they cannot view that website uh, using uh, Internet Explorer version 7. So, and then from there I started looking for information why that uh, is not happening or what I can do to prevent uh, a future uh, issue or future problem. And then uh, I've come across a lot of information about the Internet and with that i think that today i should share this idea with you and then i know that uh, this might not be a new thing to some people uh, however i believe that uh, uh, this might be a an idea for some people and they can get uh, some information which they, it can be useful for them um, but i would advise that uh, you follow this uh, uh, video tutorial from uh, series one up to the end of the series uh, because there's a lot of things that, that uh, I will be showing you that uh, uh, is uh, very very useful um, to to start with I'm just going to into um, uh, give you a quick uh, definition of a uh, browser compatibility test uh, browser compatibility test is all about we uh, trying to make sure that uh, uh, users, uh, the end, uh, end users, uh, feel or uh, have the same virtual experience across the web. And then, uh, not only that, that we'll be thinking about, uh, we also have to think about uh, operating system com compatibility issue and then uh, screen resolution. As as, as today, uh, almost 70% uh, of uh, mobile. Uh, phone, uh, they assess uh, uh, the int um, um, seventy percent of people today assess the uh, the website or assess internet with uh, with their mobile. So we need to consider uh, using a you know uh, a very small width such as uh, eight hundred by six hundred, and then um, if uh, at the end of the day. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to look into anything about uh, operating system compatibility test or screen resolution compatibility test today. But I'll be looking into uh, Internet Explorer versus uh, CSS3, uh, which is uh, basically to show to you uh, some kind of uh, problem that you may come across in terms of a uh, compatibility issue and some solution. And then, um, as I've said, the aim today is just to, uh, you know, uh, give you a, a very minimum trick that uh, you can use uh, to test your um, application before production level without going to any platform uh, whereby you, you're going to pay, and then uh, it's going to require you, you know, to have a very uh, high standard uh, bandwidth, and then. Um, and all what we're just going to be doing today, we're just going to be switching uh, compatibility mode using the meta tag uh, from one version to another version. And then from there, if you think that uh, that is not of use to you, uh, there's other uh, free um, platform over the internet that you can use to do your uh, cross uh, compatibility test. But I bet you, none of this uh, is free. Take for example, uh, let me see Superview, and then um, you 
you see that if you go there, they're going to tell you uh, expression where you're supposed to be, um, about seven years, blah blah. So if you look at it, it's saying to you, uh, it's of um, uh, trial. So anything with trial, we end up that you have to pay. But what I'm showing you today, you don't have to pay anything. You're just going to use your lo lo local server. If you go again to another uh, platform, um, which is this uh, brass and all, you see, even though they, they tell you all this story here, they will ask you to download this. Um, it's a trial. It's not, it's not, it's a trial version. That means after your trial version, you will have to pay. But my dear, the trick I'm showing you today, uh, you don't have to pay anything. So, um, another reason why I'm here today is because uh, some website, uh, one view in the Internet Explorer 5, 6, 7, or 8, even 10, uh, some portion of that web page might not appear correctly. Even some uh, positioning of your uh, boss might not be where you want it. And please, if you want to read more about the uh, Internet Explorer versions, you can just do so. And then um, I'll be talking about CSS. You know, CSS is a very powerful uh, programming language. Uh, it makes things happen the way you want it. Uh, you want to create a circle just like what you are seeing here. And then you don't need to make a picture to be circle because too many images on a, in an application affects uh, the loading time as well. So, but if you use um, CSS, it can create something that will look similar to image that you think that uh, you have to put. So uh, you can also read more about uh, CSS over the internet as well. And then um, what I'm going to be doing today is to switch uh, from this version to another version. I will start with six, seven, eight, nine, and then uh, we see how it looks like. I got all this information from um, from this uh, website. This way I get that this information from, and then um, you can also go there and then uh, you know. Uh, msdn.microsoft.com um, whereby you can read more about uh, compatibility mode and then uh, the meaning of this uh, document type uh, as it is now it's, it says uh, document type but they are the the advice or recommendation is that we have to make it now so that whereby you just uh, had uh, um, uh, is is just is it an exclamation mark or something like that to make it look no so that you know the it's going to run in a quickie mode and then um, from there uh, I'm going to show you some problem that uh, we we might encounter and then um, I'll start you know telling you about a boss position on the page uh, using margin zero and auto which is going to just uh, make our boss or anything to be in a position in a central position without have to use uh, uh, any other thing and then uh, shadow yeah we all know about shadow if like now this uh, uh, pursue means that uh, uh, you want the shadow to be um, left that's a uh, um, I think left uh, that's a uh, left um, That's left, bottom, right, top. So, and then the same thing we can create a test shadow, which is going to create a shadow around the a test, like um, what you are seeing here, which is this is a shadow, and what is happening with the test is made uh, with a, a, a shadow a CSF is your shadow. And to create a circle, and then I'm going to show you how to create a circle by just um, the, the the width. You want to first of all make sure that uh, the boss is in a in a square form, and then when I say square form, that means the length and the breadth have to be equal. So if you have 50 for width, you must have uh, 50 for height. So what's going to happen later? You multiply this by four, which is going to give you 200, and then you're going to have a very sharp circle. Uh, like what you are like like